There has been a terrorist attack in Srinagar. Terrorists, in fact, lobbed a grenade at a Sunday market in Srinagar. And six people have been injured and they have been taken to the hospital. Uh, six people have been injured in a grenade attack. Uh, this happened in Srinagar in a Sunday market. Sources said that uh, the grenade was lobbed uh, uh, in the Sunday market, uh, which has left uh, six people injured. Remember, this comes on the back of two encounters that took place in Jammu and Kashmir, one in Anantanag and the other one in Khanyar in Srinagar, uh, where uh, three terrorists uh, were killed and a couple of uh, policemen were also injured. And uh, in fact, a top Lashkar commander was also killed in that Srinagar encounter. And this has uh, happened uh, yet again. A terrorist attack has happened in Jammu and Kashmir, Kashmir's Srinagar. Uh, this, uh, the terrorists lobbed a grenade at uh, the Sunday market in Srinagar and six people have been injured. Uh, all the injured, they have been taken to the hospital. This, uh, uh, from what we understand, this blast took place at a time when the area was witnessing a huge rush of shop shoppers uh, for uh, the weekly Sunday market. Uh, there was a lot of rush and uh, six people uh, uh, as of now have been injured in that particular attack. Uh, this, uh, this grenade was uh, lobbed outside the TRC playground is what we understand at this moment and six people have been left injured uh, like we mentioned. Uh, this comes on the back of uh, two encounters that took place in Jammu and Kashmir uh, just yesterday, one in Anantnag where two terrorists were killed and uh, uh, in Srinagar where one terrorist was killed in Khanyar. Uh, including uh, one of the top Lashkar commander who was killed in Srinagar uh, in that particular encounter. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, yesterday only the Bandipura search and combing, op combing operation was uh, taking place. Uh, the defense minister has also spoken yesterday about this, uh, about these uh, encounters, these terror attacks, and uh, had mentioned that this is not an issue of security lapse. While uh, the police had confirmed that uh, the commander of Lashkar e Toiba was killed in Srinagar encounter and the latest attack that has taken place yet again in Srinagar. Uh, this took place in a Sunday market where a green grenade explosion took place. Uh, this terror attack happened in a Sunday market where uh, six people uh, have been injured. This blast uh, in fact took place uh, at a time when the area was witnessing a huge rush. There were a lot of people in that Sunday market. It's a weekly market that uh, 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 it, uh, this uh, weekly market where uh, uh, people uh, gather uh, and uh, uh, it is called the Sunday market there. This blast took place there uh, just uh, a short while uh, ago and uh, the grenade explosion was heard and uh, six people have been injured in this particular attack. All right, my colleague Nazir Masoodi joins us uh, to get us more from uh, Srinagar. Uh, Nazir, can you give us the details of what exactly transpired? Well, behind me, you can see this is the Sunday market, and a uh, uh, short distance from here, uh, this grenade was lobbed. It is clearly sheer terrorism when innocent people who come to buy the stuff for the winters, and as you can see, Large number of people are here uh, for the Kayakam for the shopping, Sunday market shopping. And at the TRC choke here, uh, so grenade was lost. At least initial reports, the six people have been injured, have been injured, have been rushed to the hospital for treatment. The number of injuries could be more. And this is after a long, long time. We see such an incident happening in, in Srinagar City, grenade attack in Srinagar City. Uh, so that clearly shows the a worrying situation. Uh, those why we know we have an elected government here that may not be having a control over the law and order situation, but clearly, uh, you know, uh, this is a disturbing trend. Uh, I have seen yesterday there was an encounter in Khan Yar in which one militant Alaskar commander Usman was killed. There was another encounter in uh, uh, Anasnag where two militants were killed, and they had two other incidents just two days back to migrant workers Usman and Sufyan. They were shot at and injured in Badgam district. Now we just see horrible, horrible incident of grenade throwing at uh, this uh, Sunday marketplace, which is a busy, busy marketplace in Srinagar during Sundays. Where you can see behind me large number of people coming to buy stuff during the Sundays. And the same place has been targeted. And it's clear, sheer terror attack. But this has not deterred the people. They are, it is like business as usual here in the thing. As you know, violence and terror 
that has it cannot get up people it has lost with the story of your power it may have injured uh, you know people in this incident but you can see people here normally doing their business just a short distance from here less than 200 meters are uh, where this incident has taken place in this particular uh, sunday market in srinagar so uh, a give worrying a thing Yeah. Could, could you could uh, you just give us a sense of what time exactly this uh, terror attack uh, took place and what market is this and where exactly is it located well as i it is in the main srinagar civil lines area there is the residency road up to the uh, tourist reception center on the right side is the polo ground here and it is a uptown market you know where uh, people normally come during the sundays as you can see visual speak for themselves the large number of people come here on sundays it is a sunday market like it happens in every city so what during the winters you can see large stuff you can see woolens here yeah, people buying woolens here yeah. uh here yeah, in this market and and because it winter is approaching already it is very cold here so large number of people have been uh, visiting this market place and this busy market place that was targeted with grenade and and as i said six people as per the initial report have been injured but it is as i said like business as usual in the rest of the place the area has been you know security forces have rushed to this area and they are they are cordoning and the checkpoints have been reinforced in in different parts of srinagar city because of the yesterday incident in counter in in khanyar security was already on high alert and yet we see this type of incident happening is a worrying thing though the violence is not something new it has happened before but in between there was a stop Uh, it was stopped or rather halted but the clearly it shows it, the, the what is where is happening here is not something which can happen just because of the overnight thing it is clearly because some people may have been preparing for it some may be building you know atmosphere or they have been you know trying to create a their uh, structure for it terror structure for it and then they coming using this time to carry out these attacks and six people as i said have been injured in this Uh, attack here as per the initial reports right uh, nazir you spoke about uh, the kind of security measures that uh, that are in place at the moment just want to understand uh, what kind of security measures were in place uh, in in that particular sunday market and also in other such markets uh, uh, there in srinagar well srinagar is a city which has a very very strong security domination while you see not only the physical security but also the electronic surveillance so cctv and for other things this city is completely covered with the source of cctv so that the uh, electronic surveillance is also maintained and besides other surveillance mechanisms which the security agencies keep uh, given the particular situation in ja in, in, in jammu and kashmir particularly in the valley over the last 30 years but the fact is that you know it is a busy market place and someone may have come and carried out this horrible horrible incident where innocent people have been targeted so have nothing to do with me you know the you know from the laborers who were targeted just two days back to you know send laborers from up sofian and usma they were shot at and injured now we see those people who have come to just buy some stuff buy some wool and here at the sunday market place in srinagar they have been injured they have been hit by splinters of yeah in srinagar Right, uh, Nazir. You spoke about uh, the civilian safety there and the security measures. Just want to understand what uh, sort of precautions uh, are now being taken. Uh, uh, you know, just to ensure that uh, the safety of the civilians uh, in areas, particularly in these uh, markets, in these Sunday markets, uh, is in place, uh, especially in the light of this particular attack. Well, uh, as you can see, you know the you know security has been always something which has been a concern as a. a priority for the security force and the government to ensure nothing goes wrong but there could be one odd incident that can is quite upset the situation but clearly security force are going to control the situation given the fact that uh, they are trying to advantage of the situation the handlers from across or those who are behind it because we have a dual control here kind of such thing for example elected government doesn't have a control over the security and the security for uh, and the police and law and order comes and the left in government and the central government so clearly some people would be trying to create a friction and create a wedge but as far as the both the sides have been seen as we saw recently umar abdullah beating prime minister and home minister in delhi and other leaders and both have said they will be on same page 
when it comes to security of jammu and kashmir there will be no compromise on that but yesterday farooq abdullah clearly uh, raised a you know red flag and saying why they have been this sudden spike in the attacks and when the elected government has been formed and if it is an a uh, conspiracy to destroy the murab dilas government bjp has sit back and say look these attacks we know who is carrying out these attacks and where from these militants and the gun are coming from and as you can see we can see security here security vehicles no police vehicles moving yeah in this particular um, sunday market place so uh, it, when it comes to the number of security men rashmi riding is already saturated with the presence of security forces and yet we see this type of incident actually it needs a hard intelligence and actionable intelligence to prevent these incidents more than the demonstrative presence of the security forces having said that this is one of the incidents which we see when the people innocent people local they are being targeted like this it has happened after a long time and there is not social acceptance of any such thing these are just sheer terror incident where innocent people are being targeted like this